description. <laughs> All right, I saw. I think I saw that video. Yeah. Don't get me started on that. Yeah, I, I want to like back away from the insulting Bezos on his platform because I'm fairly certain he's listening and watching he and has, probably will find us. He, I guarantee you, he has some sort of mercenary that will find you. It's Bezos all the way down, man. Please shoot me with your gold-plated bullet so that if it scrapes me, I can sell it for a house worth of money. Oh, my, oh my God. <laughs> hey, Mr. E, you got to cool down, bro. Like, you can't you can't do that right out the gate. Aggression with a capital A is what we are seeing. Mr. E trying to send a message. Instead, he gets sent to the ground. Yeah, interesting choice. I've been seeing Mr. E actually start on Battlefield a lot, so I really am interested to see how that you know, pick-and-ban process goes for him. Because this is not the first time I've seen him start on Battlefield, and this is not really a stage you see if you're in Maryland, Virginia. He Ooh. did that actually against Dexter, and it worked pretty well for him. He won yeah. the game, but Dexter did fling himself off the side of the stage at zero and suicide. Yeah. So, and as a side note, I do love the Breaking Targets theme. I love oh, those, yeah, those, those, nice. music count, those music picks are absolute choice. Even so, with that uh, with that stock being taken from ZD, he's just been in charge for so much of this game. I uh, really haven't really seen uh, Mr. E.T. too much dominance, and oh my gosh, that counter almost coming through for the Wolf Flash, but... So y'all know how Wolf Flash works, actually, with the Hitbox and Hurtbox? So, so, the, one. so the Hurtbox travels one frame ahead of the Hitbox, so you can challenge it if you throw out an active Hitbox. You don't necessarily need to rely on the counter. If, for instance, Mr. E went ahead and tossed out that neutral air, as long as his timing was right, that would have beaten Wolf Flash straight up. There's huh. no trades there. Okay. The yeah, the Hurtbox you know. in front of the Hitbox. Throw something out if you've got a disjoint there. I love the Smash Scientist scabs. I learn something new every time on my commentary. I love it. Hey, we're going to learn something new every day. It's yeah. true. Now I'm going to learn about Wolf Frame Data. So the next time I fight a Wolf of 50 that are here in Maryland, I'm going to know. I mean, I don't need to know about frame data because it's all good. <laughs> That's it. You don't hey. need to say what frame it is. It's good frame. My buttons be good. Hit button, hard hit, smash, no lag. Yeah, that's about Wolf. That's Wolf in a nutshell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Mr. E's actually doing a very good job of like keeping this close. We forget that ZD basically killed him at zip. Now it's 159 to 77. Wolf, a character that has to commit when he wants to get these kills, and it seems like Mr. E does not need to and knows it. I mean, really, he's just—he's oh, okay. really just averaging out his uh, his kill percents, right? Now his average is like 95 or something. I mean, this is like one of those things where you know we all have that tilty friend who's like, "I kill you so much more damage, and I lost the game. Your game busted." I think Osiris actually said that to Oh, he said that to me several times, actually, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, our crew's got one of those. Every crew's got one of those guys. Every crew. Every crew's got a, got Shout a special boy. I missed that guy. I wonder if he's still tearing up Georgia. All right, so dash attack. ZD gets center stage back. Now it's Mr. E's turn to apply some pressure here. He cannot afford to have ZD box him away like this. 92 already. This is kill percent. Up tilt, not going to do it, though. ZD is just playing, doing his best to get back to stage. You see Mr. E now is really mixing up his approaches because he can't just throw out counter now anymore. Depending on how ZD wants to recover, wants to mix it up, depending on, might be good, might be not. But ZD's getting a lot of traction, getting back alive. He's yeah. got a ton of extra credit, but he has to finish it. Yeah. Parry, but can't Ooh. get the back air. That was so smart by ZD, but Mr. E was one step ahead with that spot dodge. Up Toss throw, up, yeah. yep, does the trick. At 180, though, not yeah, as soon as you want to kill him. That, dri that drives up the average real bad. I mean, this character is maybe an echo, but you still got Marthritis, apparently. Yeah, right? It seems like, yeah, you just Ooh. have to get something sweet here going. And ZD, he's definitely just looking to wrap this up. And you've seen a little bit more of those errant up smashes. Mr. E's been able to capitalize every now and then. But yeah, ZD seems like he's pressing. Oh, Again. my gosh. Yeah, he's, he, he's going ZD. for those, like, a little bit too crazy options that are just getting something a little bit quicker, a little bit more effective. And right now, it is just he's struggling ZD. to get that kill. He's too thirsty right now. you got to control it. Yeah, he's Suppress the anger. Seek that opening. Let Mr. E give it to you. No, oh, no. don't jump into it. Remember how I said let Mr. E give it to you? Well, he gave it to him right there. Gosh. Yeah. That crazy tunnel vision from ZD cost him that game after getting an insane spike right out the gate. That is not the way you want to lose that. No, not at all. That is sending a message to your opponent that you can be tilted. You can be tricked. You can be trapped. Yes. That was absolutely insane. I mean, it really does feel like whenever you start swinging like that wild, you can just see it's like the eyes have rolled back to his head. Rage has taken over the body and just motivates Look at you that just man's to face. meet it. Meet you, can, you can sense that, like, come on, really now? You can see it in his face. And Mr. E's just like, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Mr. E. Cheer himself on. On to final destination now for our next pick. A flat stage, which will basically turn this into neutral 101. Lucina does have trouble landing, though. So perhaps his favors Wolf, but I don't know. I, I wonder if we are going to see him stay Wolf uh, for the majority of the set, though. I haven't really seen much of his Fox tonight, if at all. Yeah. 
I mean, I don't know. I'm sure he's used to the matchup in some capacity, but... But, I mean, at the same time, if you're just getting steamrolled like that from Mr. E, you need that extra juice in your tank to step up your game. Yeah. I feel like the problem with Fox in this matchup is it's just even more polarized. Like, you're, you're seeing Mr. E get a lot of these edge guards. He's just going to get more. And yeah, the neutrals are going to be still just as hard. Mr. E's been so good with this. And you can just see it in this play right now. Like, he, there's a reason he tore through that loser's bracket. He's a man yep. on a mission. Trying to, uh, to show that Tri-State can put themselves on the map even though they're out of their own region. But ZD is working so hard, and you see right there with that, that back air, like, yeah, I'm still alive. You can't sleep on me yet. Yeah, but ZD's got to do something to even up the stock pretty quick, and here we go. We see a combo already putting 30% on the map, but now he's got himself in a uh, recovery position. Good nice tech. tech. Keeping himself alive. You do not want to die only at 100%. Now I gotta stretch this out, make this stock last a little bit. Yeah, make it like last game where you're living until, you know, up throw kills. Yeah, right. 180, that's a nice, healthy life. Ooh, Ooh that, that was a nice. Combo. Yeah, yeah, that was so good. I love his aggression offstage. He's definitely going for like a neutral air trade where he basically clanks with the up B and sends Mr. E into the blast zone in an unrecoverable angle. That aggression, oh. though, a little bit errant. Mr. E had the shield ready, up B's out of shield, and that's all for ZD second stock. Yeah, you ZD can see, shaking but his takes head, it yeah. right back. That's what I was going to say. You know, ZD's shaking his head, but he's angry. You know, he wants this. He needs this win if he wants to keep himself. You know, if he wants to win this set, he needs to find something good for himself now. And that's like the first blaster we've seen connect to. This is final yeah. destination, a stage where typically Wolf can, like, back off and let you know that he got that gat in the back pocket. Nah, we sure. ain't really seen it so much. These reverse hits and dares, the dash attacks. ZD is looking like a whole other person right now. This ledge pressure is absolutely insane Ooh. by ZD. He knows what Mr. E's going to do before he presses that button. There, there we go. See, that? that's the ZD yeah. That's the ZD we're used to seeing that's, right that's there. That's the fire in his Calm. heart. Be like water, young one. ZD, yes. no anger, no fire, pure calculated aggression. And yes. That's what we need to see. That's, yes. Perhaps it was just that he's been sitting for so long, maybe a little bit rusty game one, or perhaps he was playing a player that wasn't quite a Mr. E's caliber that he could kind of just throw out up smash and have him fall into it on. Like, that's the problem. It's like, what other player around here, other than Dexter, who's secondary is Lucina, plays Lucina? Like, yeah. We just don't have him in this It's region. such a rare character. I mean, we've seen before that ZD has struggled like, against characters we don't normally see. When Schnigley first came into the region, he got two, uh, ZD got 2 0 by Schnigley. Of course, on the runbacks now, ZD does just fine, but these unknown threats, not knowing how to counteract them, can make such a big deal, especially in Grands. Very true, my man. Getting back to triplats now. By virtue of our stage list, you cannot avoid it unless you use both of your bands on it. So ZD, perhaps only using one on Battlefield, says, yeah, we can deal with the slants. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. The kicks back to back dash attacks. I feel like watching Wolf dash attack to cover your tech away option, it's just one of the most insulting things. Because here, here is this guy running full force at, at his top speed at you. And he just kicks you in the face as you're like... Picking yourself up off the ground. It's, it's, it's pretty pretty messed up. Ooh! That's great this, delay. That was a mangle right there. Yeah, yeah, these ledge options back and forth between these two. And you see that that pivotal dash back so Mr. E doesn't get that sliding F tilt. Like, ZD has the moves. Oh, soft back here. Still going to put Mr. E off stage. How's he getting back? Ooh. ZD trying, been, to, trying to call out that up there, but gets it there on the double hit of the jab. It, it, it hit, like, the ninth time he threw it out. Yeah. That makes the other eight worth it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah say, in this position, yeah. It's like I conditioned him to make him think that I was going to wildly throw out up smashes so I could throw out a calculated up smash. He'll never see it coming. It works every <laughs> time. Except the 10th. Yeah, except <laughs> only the 10th time. The, ne the next eight are going to be, you know, yeah, punished. Yeah. But it looks like he may not need to. What are you doing hour? out there? Yes. Keeping himself saying, hey, this is my stage. You are not allowed. He don't need Andros' spare ships. He can go out and fly himself. And parry the shield breaker. That's, oh, yeah, my God. let's go. Oh, my gosh. This is, this. Oh, no, my. No. And the, the tech. tech. Who texts that? Mr. E knows that this is. I say, oh, oh, check it out. He texts it Oh, he did. What is going on? Yo, Mr. E is like, you're not taking me down that easily, bro. Flex the tech skill twice on him. And now this may be Mr. E's game. He just has to go ahead and finish it off. After that explosive finish, he's still down a stock. Yeah, he's down so nah, much right cheating. now, but. He's cheating. I'm he, sorry. He's cheating. He, he has all the tech on. Uh, he, I'll, I'll, I'll come back. I'm banning him. All right. He's gone. 
Set Jake, that man for just, a pro controller, perhaps. Maybe he cut his spring a wee bit because those techs were absolutely on point. He got both of them, but didn't get the W. He lost the he won, he won, won the battle, but lost the war. That was an immaculate double tech to getting ZD, and ZD wasn't prepared to tech himself. Crazy, crazy edge. I don't know if he could attack that other one. Yeah, like that's... he was. He got the flash of like the kill screen, so that gives Mr. E a little bit more opportunity to react. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, now I have to tech. No, ZD just wasn't ready for it. That's insane. Yeah. I haven't seen an exchange like that in some time. But more importantly, I haven't seen an exchange like that be completely fruitless for the man's flexing <laughs> attack skill. Yeah, he was up three stocks to one. So hey, you may have gotten that, but it doesn't even matter because you're still losing anyway. You can be as cool as you want, but at the end of the day, I'm holding that W, and ZD is one win away from taking the first Xanadu homecoming against Mr. E. And Mr. E, if y'all don't remember, was the champion of Glitch 2. He is no stranger to winning here in MDVA, but he's going to have to turn it up right here. ZD's got a whole three more games to play oh, with. Oh, whoa, ZD! ZD's going buck wild right now. Still finding himself living. Nothing will kill him just yet. It's like he doesn't even care, right? Like, he's like, yeah. we can make this a game five. I just want to play Smash, dude. Yeah, like, he's just here to he's just here to cause some problems for Mr. E, and he's having a great time doing it. The people are absolutely going buck wild seeing it. Dash attack for some offstage. Can't quite get that blaster to force E to spend see, some resources, but... That's the thing, though. Mr. E has to specifically delay his jump. So, like, no, he doesn't exhaust the resource, but he forces him to come low with that laser. True. Great back here there to finish that stock. So yeah, this might be one of Mr. E's opportunities, oh, oh, but no. no, he double jumps into an invulnerable wolf. Yeah, stocks, uh, two stocks, the two stocks is the four glory mode. ZD though is so happy, you know, good on him to find that opening right after losing his own stock. Keeping Mr. E at bay and trying to keep that advantage as best as he can. I was gonna say that Mr. E hasn't had a lot of long leads right here, and yeah, ZD takes it away from him so quick. I do like how ZD is also now mindful and teching away because we saw that down smash not work for Mr. E earlier, and he knows that he needs to get himself out of dodge from that sword. Ooh. Or else that's going to happen. Down tilt not quite going to get it, though, but ZD jumps back. Up, B out of shield. Mr. E not quite connecting. Gets the forward air, though. Sees his full stage control. That pivot canceled forward tilt. Now ZD's in an awkward spot here, oh, and he no. air dodges off stage and dies. Does he come back? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. yeah there's, there was nothing he could have done there. Yeah, that's just a regrab, and that's just a free forward smash for Mr. E. So not quite what you want to see after doing so well in the second stock. But at the same time, ZD still trying to keep it even as best as he can. 80% now on Mr. E's second stock. This is absolutely doable for ZD still. What a... <laughs> oh. Look at the crowd screaming there when Mr. E just barely got clipped right there by that up B. Yeah, Mr. E was smart. You know, he could have gone for a trade, keeping Wolf off stage maybe. But now he's trying to get back to stage. He's trying to make this comeback alive. Ooh, I like that F-Tilt from Mr. E, but not quite going to do anything for him. Even that shield break, we've been seeing him do that a lot tonight. Yeah, that's really just been his MO. Is when he comes back, he can just throw out the shield break, and if you're just, like, waiting at ledge, you're going to get broken, and he's just going to get that good punish. Yep. That's it's actually the longest range move Lucina has, too, so you can just kind of toss that out. It clips through the edge of the stage. It is yep. just a solid option when you're trying to stall at edge or just gain some space for yourself. You have to respect Lucina's kit. Ooh. Falling up air, not quite going to connect. ZD trying to get something going with his back air, but not much. Tech away, very smart. Yeah, again, these techs away are doing wonders for ZD because Mr. E can't follow up. Maybe he could do that sliding, you know, forward tilt, but at the end of the day, you know, he's trying to find something better like down smash. Oh my, and Mr. E, he's just... So many spot dodges, man. Yeah, he's getting around everything. Oh, no. That right. though does the trick. ZD, 119% in this game four. It's possible, but it is... A long, long huh. journey. Mr. E just standing there doing nothing while he jumped. That was probably... <laughs> I saw CD's life flat before my eyes. <laughs> and CD's trying to play as safe as possible no. right now. He makes oh, no. it in. No double jump. Can he get the two-frame? No, he doesn't. Oh. Up tilt. Oh, I thought he was going to try. We'll flash him. But no, all right. Back air will seal the stock yep. right there. Very good play by Mr. E, not getting overwhelmed by ZD's pressure there. That's something that you see a lot of like weaker players do, is the minute that one of their opponents gets their hands on him. All right, disadvantage state in shambles. Not Mr. E, playing collected, making sure that he can get his feet back on the ground and connect with the killing aerial to seize game four. So this is very dangerous game, ZD. You do not want to have this bracket reset on you. And if you're Mr. E, you need to plow through this game to reset the bracket and win three more to come out on top of the tournament. So let's see if ZD can keep this gate going back to FD, which is a really interesting pick. Yeah, ZD basically just saying the stage oh. wasn't the reason why. <laughs> what a way to start it off. Just yeah, like, no, no, I know exactly what you're trying to do. 
Yeah. All right. This this is no more. We're playing games, but uh, this isn't a game anymore. Couple forward airs, but can't finish anything off there. I think he was trying to like buffer a run off stage with that counter, but couldn't quite come out. So just gets the counter on stage. It looks a little silly for it. Yeah. Ooh. I'm not sure if he wanted to go for up air there or not, but great parry from Mr. E. Nice, just gets in, gets past those jabs, shields past, gets a grab in turn. Toss him off. Again, this has been an even game, but really off stage play is what has decided a lot of these stocks. How does ZD get back? Neutral air, aggressive option now forcing E to edge. <gasps> he read that option, read the roll in with that up smash, but not quite going to connect. Yeah, Mr. E's shield was looking awfully low there. You can see ZD trying to shield poke with the back air. Great recovery from him now. Yeah, just back slipping back. past that counter so important. And you can see now that, you know, being so careful around the ledge, ZD's giving so much respect oh. as somebody cut off. Forward tilt, though. ZD's now up his stock. Crowd is cheering. They want their hometown hero to come out on top. MDVA out in droves. You know that we are not quiet when our boy is in grands, but Misery trying to slam the door and make a comeback here after being down a game or so by ZD. Yeah, and not to mention he's down a set technically, so he has so much more to work for. ZD not prepared for that up tilt, though. And dying only about 50% right now in extra credit. Oh, gosh, trying to go for blood there. Mr. E almost air dodging into it, but able to get past. Still the struggling to take the center stage. GD is just keeping him away. Ooh, nice stuff. Gets that there we go. Blue. That's it. ZD. Mr. E might be on his tournament stock right now. If ZD can keep this momentum going and prevent this bracket and reset. You can see it in his eyes. He's yeah. focused now. You He's can see, like, this, this next stock is going to matter. It better. It's the last one, perhaps. We got, again, spot dodging the dash grab. Not quite going to work out with that option. Aggressive option by ZD to just knock a few more percent into Mr. E. But you've got to clean this up. No jump here. Oh. Up smash is not what he needs to see. That one does get the punish correctly, though. Mr. E needs to be so careful. 67%. I mean... It's not quite certainty yet, but it is still very scary. In another 15%, forward air in the back air will kill it, Edge. Yeah. All right. What is ZD going to do here? This is so tense. Toss him off stage. Are you going to run off with the counter? No. Just try to let trap neutral air. Actually gets beaten out by Wolf's forward air. Back air? No, just barely missing. Mr. Oh, e, that's forward it. smash. The standard get up called out by that forward smash, and ZD takes Xanadu homecoming. What a better way to start a new monthly by ZD defending the home turf versus the New York Invaders. And now just walks off a sigh of relief, keeping himself doing well. Crowd loves it. What a tournament. What yeah, a bracket right? that we've had. We've seen upsets. We've seen MDBA come out and get felled by these New Yorkers. And now they have been doing their best to take our money. But now we defend the turf for the first time in quite some time. Yeah. Every time we fly somebody out, they typically end up finishing it off. But yeah. no, we don't have Wadi in the house. We don't need it. We got ZD. We got ZD. And CD, man, I tell you, he doesn't really go out of state as much. Like, he doesn't travel as much as he really used to. You know, we didn't see him in Frostbite. And it wasn't even like, oh, you know, uh, I didn't have the funds to get out there or anything. It was really just like a, I don't know if I feel like competing.